From January 24th to March 9th, Hasta Kreitler will be exhibiting Planet Fall, photographs by Michael Benson. As a second edition to the first exhibition, Beyond, and the first book, um, Planet Fall has a different feel to it. What has, how would you say the work has changed from one series to the next? Well, I'd like to think I'm getting better at this game of, of scavenging for raw frames and, and assembling them. Planet Fall looks at 21st century planetary photography. So it's very narrowly focused on 12 years of this photography. And our systems, our camera systems, the spacecraft, they've all gotten better. So that freed me to explore larger prints and um, more complex compositions and so on. So for example, uh, between my first book, which came out in 2003, and Planet Fall, since then, in that time, we've had roving uh, landscape photographers on Mars, for example. We didn't have that before, and that's pretty amazing. So I, I took advantage of those images. How are these compiled from the raw data that the satellites or rovers take? If you look at the raw frames, image frames, that these images are, are built from, uh, you'll see something radically different from what's on the wall here. Basically, what happens is the spacecraft shoots various images of various objects through different filters, and the only way to get a color image is to stack several black and white images, what to us look like black and white images, uh, in Photoshop and make an RGB red-green-blue composite, which then creates a color image as we might see it if we were there. But another aspect of what I do is I mosaic many, of, many such images together to get wide field views. And that's another um, aspect of what I do. Sometimes, um, sometimes I'm working with 90 or 100 individual frames to make one final composite. Where did your interest in planetary imagery come from? Well, I would have to start way back. Um, my mom took me to see um, Stanley Kubrick's film 2001 A Space Odyssey in 68 when I was six years old, and it completely blew my mind. I mean, it was, um, it was my first exposure to a masterpiece in any genre of art. Later in the 70s, you know, when some of the more sophisticated spacecraft like Voyager went to the outer planets and Viking went to Mars, when, when they started sending pictures back, I was absolutely fascinated. But I was frustrated because, first of all, basically we could, we could only see the handful that NASA released as press release material, and then it was in Time Magazine, four or five pictures, and that was it, you know? And I always thought from that day, I mean, from that period forward, really, that the visual legacy of interplanetary spaceflight is an important chapter in the history of photography. And in a way, that's the core uh, of what I'm trying to accomplish with this work is to make the case that this material belongs to photography as much as to science. View the works of Michael Benson at Hasta Kreitler from January 24th to March 9th.